Before I was Gary Lehman Heldon Tenor, I was Gary from the South Side of Niles. I was always singing in the car when I was a kid. Uh, I remember growing up, I felt like every other kid in the neighborhood. I mean, we would go fishing and camping and play basketball, football, all my friends. And the only thing I could remember what, a, what opera was, was two fat people screaming at each other on stage. My high school choir director, Mr. Weir, noticed and encouraged me to really start using the gift that he saw in me. I am back at Niles McKinley High School where it all started for me. Uh, I just walked into the room and I had a rush of memories flood back into my brain. It looks no different than it did 30 years ago when I graduated in 1982. And it, it's amazing. Uh, uh, I almost feel like a student again. You walk back into a place and you get those same feelings. And Mr. Weir, Mike Weir, my, my instructor, he put me under his wing and really just made me believe in myself and told me I could do this. And that's just another one of those feelings you get every time you come back here in this whole area. It's just the support. The true uh, story, years ago at the Niles YMCA on the south side, we had, a, you remember the gong show? Yes, I do. We had a gong show, and I was a judge, and there was other guys, and he got up and he sang a cappella, and they gonged him, and I fought him, and I said, someday Gary's going to make it. Was I right? Yes, you were, sir. Ah, good man, Gary. Mr. Marino. I'm proud of you. I really am Thank proud you. of you, Gary. Thank you. I started doing the musicals in high school with the encouragement of Mrs. Webley, the head of the drama department, and Mr. Weir, I was finally on my way to the Dana School of Music at Youngstown State University. Well, I am back at Dana School of Music, where I started, I would say started my career really, uh, getting the guidance of all the instructors here, especially David Starkey, who was like a mother bird and pushed me out of the nest when I graduated from YSU and made me spread my wings, but he gave me all the tools I needed while I was here, which it just helped tremendously. And everyone in the school has always been very good to me. I would always come back throughout my career and I would see the same professors standing in the hall and they would remember me instantly, even the ones I did not do so well in their class. But they were still very nice to me. And it's, it's one big family down here. And that's, that's what this community, the, uh, the whole valley is like. You have, it, it's one big community trying to help each other. Furthered my training at Indiana University, and I was soon given the opportunity to start my operatic career with the Lyric Opera Center for American Artists at the Lyric Opera of Chicago. <laughs> Turned out I was pretty good at this and I could actually make a living at it. In 
1992, when I finished the Opera Center, I was on my way. No matter where Susan and I have been around the world, and we've lived in New York, we've lived in Chicago, you know, every time we leave a job, we say, okay, we're going back to New York. But every time we came back here, we said we were coming home. And we eventually made this our home, and we're very happy to be back in this area. And luckily, when I've traveled, this area has never left me. It's been part of me.